Shoes are an extremely expensive part of your clothing budget, so it is absolutely imperative that we keep the shoes to pass down to our children as long as they're in good condition. This is how we store those shoes. Hey guys, and welcome back to Lining Up Ducks. If this is your first time with us, thanks for joining us. My name is Rachel and I am married to Scott. We have four little girls, ages seven, five, three, and two. And this is our journey to live intentionally and with contentment, taking our lives from mess to success. The video that you're about to see is a video that I filmed a little while ago when I was toying with the idea of starting this channel. But we had to move halfway across the country and I never did get the channel up and rolling. So now I would love for you to see how our family stores the shoes that are the in-between sizes that we pass down to our children. Shoes are an extremely expensive part of your clothing budget, so it is absolutely imperative that we keep the shoes to pass down to our children as long as they're in good condition. This is how we store those shoes, and after this clip, I'm going to take you into our living room and show you our shoe station where all of our family shoes are kept in one place for the whole household. Today, I have a quick five minute tip on storing shoes for multiple kids. So we have four kids, all girls, varying ages, but all stair-stepped. So I have a lot of shoes to pass down. I always buy quality shoes because I have found that I can spend a little bit more on my first child's pair of shoes and it makes it all the way through to my fourth. So this is how I store shoes. I've done it different ways over the years, but right now this is the best way to do it. Now we don't buy a lot of shoes for our children. So generally they have four or five pairs every season. So in the fall, for example, they have a pair of boots, a pair of tennis shoes, a pair of church shoes, and one extra pair of shoes that is kind of more fun. And in the summertime, it's kind of the same thing, but you substitute with sandals. So this is how we store shoes. Okay, I know the lighting in here kind of stinks, but as you can see, um, these are just little drawers that I got from Walmart. And I have each size, now the baby sizes, if I can get a little bit closer and open this door a smidge more. The baby sizes are, you know, some sizes are, they're such, they're such tiny shoes I can combine the drawers. So if there's three and four in this one and five in that one, and then six, and then I start separating here. So there's size seven, and this is size seven sandals. So it's kind of winter and summer, but because there's a little bit of crossover where we are and we don't have a lot of winter, I we have a lot more summer shoes than we do winter shoes, just some fall and everything. So anyway, this is how we store shoes, and it's super, super easy when the kids go and get their measurements every year. I tend to measure their feet in August every year, and I then just go and pull a bin of shoes and take it down to our little shoe station and basically empty whatever shoes I know are going to fit them into their shoe buckets and then I take the old shoes out of the shoe buckets and I'll show you where we store our shoes on a day-to-day -day basis. So this is basically all it is. I keep very I keep very few shoes to pass down and they have to be in really excellent condition for me to keep them or they have to be favorites like these um, woolly boots were a huge favorite of my kids. We don't need warm boots like this where we live, but they're not Uggs. They're, they're not real. Or so no PETA complaints. But anyway, they are, even though we don't need these where we live, they love them. They're one of their grandparents gave them to them and they just absolutely love them. So I decided to keep them. And I have two girls that wear almost the exact same size shoes. So I have, if you saw in there, I have two different pairs of those boots because they're basically in the same size right now. So this is super easy. It doesn't take up a ton of space. I do keep it in a closet inside because we have a lot of spiders where we live. And I have found that if I keep shoes in the garage or in the basement that no matter how much I try, I tend to find a cobweb in a shoe. And I just really don't want our kids to get stung by 
black or brown widows which live where we live. So give me a second, I'll go downstairs and I'll show you what I do with the shoes once I get them out of the buckets. This is our family launching area. And this is where we keep all of the shoes in the house. There are eight buckets. This is an Ikea bucket system and these buckets are from Target. I'll link below everything that we have. And the long-term shoe storage I have that I showed you earlier is from Walmart. This is Danny Ann's bucket and this is Kate's bucket. This is Mary Claire's and this is Sophie's. My bucket is here and here is Scott's. This is where we keep the, all of the kids' socks. And this is where, right now we keep diapers and wipes, but we will be keeping mine and Scott's socks in there when we get Mary Claire out of diapers. This system works really well for our family. All of the kids' shoes are stored in this one area, so we're not looking for shoes all over the house. They know to come and take their shoes off as soon as they come in the door and put them in their buckets and put them away. Now, mine and Scott's shoes, all of our everyday shoes fit in here, but we do have a couple of pairs of dress shoes and uh, I have one pair of boots and so does Scott that will not fit in these buckets. But other than that, everything fits right here in a nice small space. Well, that's it everybody. I hope you enjoyed a peek into our storage systems, both how we store shoes for our in-between sizes as we pass down shoes from many, many seasons to our younger children and how we store the shoes that we are currently using for our entire household in one central location in our den. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Please like our video and subscribe to our channel. Please!